I'm Christer Idhamar, the founder of IDCON Inc. in Raleigh, North Carolina, United States. When we do our current best practices assessments, we focus very much, of course, on the documentation and also the execution of the 205 elements that builds up the total one and holistic reliability and maintenance management system. Another thing that we do is that we, of course, talk to a lot of people. We look at a lot of data. We look at a lot of documentation and so But it's also very good to go out and look at the equipment and the production areas, the workshops, the stores. And what I'd like to talk about today is what do you actually look at when you're out there and what does it tell you? Let us start with the first part, and that is to look at the general housekeeping. For example, are the production areas clean? And not only the parade walk through the plant, but also on the backside of your process lines and perhaps in the basements. Are these areas also clean and do they have good lighting? If you have hydraulics, well, go into these rooms where you have the hydraulics because hopefully you have, for the major hydraulics, you have a separate room. Are these rooms very clean? Do you see any leaks? Because there shouldn't be any leaks in hydraulics. Are tools that are special to this area well organized? Is the hydraulic fluid stored in the right way, etc.? You also look at equipment and look at it. Is it very good labeled? Can you find the flock number, the functional location number easily? And are also the cables, the electric cables to the motor control centers, are they clearly marked? And are also the equipment flock numbers, are they matching the location drawings you should have of the equipment? the layout of the equipment, the bird's eye view, for example. Another thing that's important to look at is equipment clean. Like this motor, it's in a horrible state, of course. It's outside in a very dirty area. But people have to be, be aware of that. Actually, if this motor is running at 140 Fahrenheit and it increases temperature to 158 Fahrenheit, just that little change will shorten the life of the electric parts of the motor. So for each 10 centigrades, actually, you shorten the, the motor life by half. And it also pulls more energy because it's running at a higher temperature. Another thing you look at is, of course, safety. And you look at that, do they have good safety procedures? Do you observe people in the plant? Do they wear a hard hat? Do they wear glasses, etc.? And in the control room, do they have a lockout, tagout? Uh, procedures well in place. Also you look at if tools and material is left after repair work. That's a sign of uh, not very good discipline among the craftspeople and perhaps also the supervisors need to see to that the, this is cleaned up after they've done a good job. Drains from uh, mechanical seals and other seals are they just pouring out on the floor and, and uh, destroying the, the, the concrete? Or is it taken away in a separate system down to the general drainage of the plant? What about general uh, design of the equipment uh, in other ways? For example, do you have pre-installed lifting arrangements? As you see in these three pictures, it's a plant where uh, they see it more as a safety issue. If you see the picture on the right, which is a big motor, and of course during its life, it will be replaced several times. One, it was delivered with a frame around it, so it's easy and very safely uh, safe to, to replace it, to lift it and take it down and so forth. You also look at how guards are designed. Can you inspect couplings, V-belts and others? There should be a window with a net that is spray painted matte black and you can see easily right through it. And also are sensors installed uh, for, for example, bearings that you can't reach easily with the handheld um, equipment. And today, of course, you have more and more uh, online sensors for that. But are they installed where they are needed? 
This was part number one of a series of these, what I would call, fiscal gemba walks that you should do when you are a manager in a plant. It's important to be visible and also to show an interest to your people. Thank you very much.